This animation shows how data that has been collected is spread out, or dispersed, and will demonstrate how the dispersions can be analysed. It will look at how the dispersion can vary in relation to the average by measuring the standard deviation. These measurements allow us to describe how data can vary within a given population. Data can be distributed in different ways. When data tends to fall around a central value, with no left or right bias, it is represented by the normal bell curve, which is referred to as a normal or standard distribution. Within this normal distribution, the average value for the data collected can always be found at the centre of the bell curve. This average value, or norm, is represented by zero. When we want to look at how the rest of the data collected deviates from this average value, we identify a deviation scale and then measure in terms of standard deviations from the average. We will refer to plus or minus one, two or three standard deviations. Within any set of data, you will always find that 68% of the data collected falls within plus or minus one standard deviation. 95% of the data collected falls within plus or minus two standard deviations. And 99% of the data collected falls within plus or minus three standard deviations. Let's look at this from a practical perspective and consider how data is dispersed and represented when we compare the average heights of men in two different countries with a sample of 100 men from each. We will consider the fictional countries of Uniformia and Diversia, which both have an average height of 6 foot. Firstly, Uniformia. The height values of the 100 men in the sample all lie in a narrow range somewhere between 5 foot and 6 foot 11 inches, with many men having similar heights within that range. This presents a data curve which is much taller and narrower than the standard distribution curve. Next, diversia. This time, the height values fall across a wider range between 4 foot and 7 foot 11 inches with fewer men having similar heights. In this example, the range of data collected is shallow and wide, resulting in a flatter distribution curve. When we compare the distribution curves of the two countries, the difference is immediately apparent. This difference is also reflected in the standard deviation for each country. For uniformia, since the data points are very close to the mean or average, this is referred to as a low standard deviation. It is worth noting that, in this example, one standard deviation is calculated to be plus or minus 3 inches. So, 68% of the data falls within plus or minus one standard deviation. In other words, between 5 foot 9 inches and 6 foot 3 inches. And 95% of the data falls within plus or minus two standard deviations, between 5 foot 6 inches and 6 foot 6 inches while 99% falls within plus or minus 3 standard deviations, between 5 foot 3 inches and 6 foot 9 inches. For diversia, there is a high standard deviation, since the data points are spread out over a larger range of values. In this example, one standard deviation is calculated to be plus or minus 7 inches. Once again, the same standard deviation rules apply. 68% of the data collected falls within plus or minus one standard deviation, that is, between 5 foot 5 inches and 6 foot 7 inches. 95% falls within plus or minus two standard deviations, between 4 foot 10 inches and 7 foot 2 inches. And 99% falls within plus or minus three standard deviations, between four foot three inches and seven foot nine inches.
So you see, whether a normal, low, or high deviation exists in the data, we can use the same values of plus or minus one, two, or three standard deviations to express the variability within each population.